All right, what's going on, guys? Um, so today's video is more of a broadcast. All right, so it'll be a pretty quick one. Um, it'll be me testing Fiverr gigs, SEO Fiverr gigs. So if you guys don't mind, comment Fiverr if you appreciate me doing stuff like this for science. Um, I think in general, you will have to sign up for the first link in the description to get the form link. And then once you get the form link, you submit any Fiverr gigs you want me to test and I'll test it. There's no limit. I'll probably work with Fiverr on this one. And uh, yeah, they're going to bankroll it all. So it's a why not for me. Yesterday was Amazon Prime Day. So I had a banger of a revenue day. Feels like the good old days. And had a meetup yesterday, which was great. Um, how many people showed up? I think like maybe 15 to 20. And then I had a couple friends with me, six friends, nearly 30 people in total, I think. Maybe a, maybe less. I don't even know. Uh, but it was a good time. Always good to chat with some, uh, you know, the people you see on screen. Several people in the advice community, including Marcus. Shout out to Marcus who flew in for this. And uh, yeah, for the next couple of minutes, I'll be eating creatine plus reporting my numbers from the day before. If you can't handle it, please look away. <laughs> All right. There we go. Cool. So yesterday we did 5.4k in total revenue. Massive day. That's up 2k from the day before. Um, Amazon, which you know it's Prime Day yesterday, so I did 3,500. Media Vine at 102, and OnlyFans at 1,800 dollars. OnlyFans is down slightly. Um, slightly concerning, but I think we should be fine. Um, let's talk about today's episode. All right, so today's episode 246. Um, just go in here. You can just follow along. Here's the form link. And pretty much you just enter in your email. Ah, uh, Maybe I should deactivate this. It's fine. Um, add any Fiverr gig you want me to test. Any. I'll do it all. Well, SEO. SEO limited to SEO. I'll order anything. Literally anything you've thought of, you're like, hey, that looks interesting. I favorited it. Send it in and I'll run it. All right. I might not run that many Fiverr gigs if it's not sponsored, but uh, yeah, it's fine. And um, I also added a form here for PBN providers. You want me to secret shop? You know what's interesting about this industry? I was just talking to some other people yesterday. It's actually how corrupt it is you guys have no idea um so for some of the things i've secret shopped i won't mention who but i've been offered money to not like release certain things obviously i said no um because guys the money offered is i feel like it's not enough to sell out it's it's like and and i i can totally see other people doing it um for me i think like a couple grand won't change my life, but I think it will definitely ruin my reputation if you, if that makes sense to you guys. So I think you guys have to be careful what kind of information you're trusting, especially in this space. For example, if I secret shop a PBM provider, they won't know it's me. I'm going to be using like an alias, using one of my throwaway emails, so on and so forth. They'll never know it's me. All right. Um, and that's something which I regret not doing in the past. For example, the link building case study, I should have shopped it like uh, anonymously. So moving forward with any of these uh, PBM providers, I'll be sh buying it from some sort of like alias. All right. Um, anyways, just add in whatever you guys want here. And PBM providers, I'll be doing it regardless. And hear me out. What do you guys think of this experiment? All right. Uh, let me know in the comment section. 
if I buy, let's say 10 PBN providers, here's how I'm going to test it. All 10 sites are going to target the same keyword. They're all going to be fresh domains. I'm probably going to do exact match domain and I'm probably going to be doing, uh, all targeting the same keyword. Yeah, I think. And the content will be relatively the same, probably all generated via like an AI writer, but let me know what you guys think. Um, if there's anything I can, how do I say, uh, if I can make it any better, let me know. I'm thinking the URL has to be like, for example, if we're targeting Vancouver roofing, then it has to be like Vancouver dash roofing one, Vancouver dash roofing two, Vancouver dash roofing three. What do you guys think? Um, because if I hyphenate some and I don't hyphenate another URL, maybe there's like a difference in Google rankings. What do you think? Uh, let me know in the comment section and um, can answer some questions now. Oh, wait, I'll just do it like this. I won't even cut it. Um, all right. It's nice having this. Used to run Google offers to ClickBank products back in the day. Great. Yugen says, thumbnail did you dirty. Indeed it did. That's actually pretty savage. Thanks for the insight, Jackie. No problem. Paid interesting paid ads video would definitely need initial flow to run it. Yeah. I was just chatting with people yesterday, like if there's any way to optimize this. And I think it's um with Amex you have net sixty, maybe net thirty to forty five payment terms, so that's slightly better. That would help you float a lot. Um, but I don't know about you guys, my Amex bills are already pretty large and I'm pretty sure I can't go over like a hundred something K on it. So let me know what you guys have in terms of ideas. So my issue is with this paid ad strategy is I, if I want to scale up, which would be the only reason why I want to focus on this. If I want to scale up, I'm not able to, because I have to float so much money. And which, what that means is. Let's say I spend 100K and I make 150K. That sounds great, right? It's amazing in a single month. But that 150K will come 60 days later and I spend the money right now. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, if you guys have any ideas on how, how I can fix this, let me know. Calvin says, I'm not seeing a clear how to on Parasite SEO. I'm reading that it can mean you get a link from a post, very high cost, Outlook India or other meanings. Any clarity, anyone? Welcome to the UK, Jackie. It's great as hell for some reason. People are speculating we are messing with the weather via experiments. That's funny. Um, how to's on Parasite SEO. I think I did a video on that. You should simply buy a guest post with a target keyword that goes to your offer. For example, if I want to, if I, I don't know, like let's say on Levanta, I, I own... I have an offer that's like 50% commission for let's say protein powder. I would write a guest post on and uh, send it into Outlook India titled top 10 best protein powder 2024. And number one will be a 50% affiliate offer using my link. And that's how exactly how you make money. Hope that makes sense for you. Parasites are still working sadly. Um, but yeah, paid ads. With Serp Empire, if you f your focus is to push up local rankings of a business, Pure Snack Pack, would you set up a Google SEO or Google Business Profile? It's Google Business Profile, I thought it'd be quite obvious, but it's okay. If I'm based in Europe and I'm starting an ag SEO agency targeting dentists in the U.S., would I need a virtual U.S. address to rank within the U.S. and create my local citations in the U.S.? Um, I'm guessing what you mean is you have an... If you want to target SEO, mm. if you're targeting dentists in the US, I don't think you need a virtual, like you don't even need a Google business profile. You just need a good email campaign. This is fire. Would you mind digging deeper of what kind of pages you create? Advertorials, listicles. Would Facebook ads also work to drive traffic? Um, listicles listicles um would facebook ads also work to drive traffic probably not probably not the intent isn't there um it might work if you aim for like lower quality 
display ad traffic. Paid ads and affiliate for the algo. Thank you. Levanta is weird. They use Stripe. Stripe supports my country, but Levanta says we can't work with your country as of right now. That's weird as hell. Let me see how we're doing for time. Um, I think that's all the time we have to, for today. If you guys have any questions at all, drop them in the comment section and I'll get to them tomorrow. Um, and thanks to everyone who came through to the meetup yesterday. It was great to meet everyone.